Long ago, in Antala, two rival factions, Mayura and Balara, shaped the land through brutal conflict. Eventually, and after years of battle, a truce was reached. But alas, that peace did not last. Mysterious creatures invaded our world. We called these demons the Raxes. The Balarans fell overnight as the rest of us watched in horror. Our only hope came at a terrible cost. I, Chimera, Queen of Mayura, went through the ritual of ascension. And in doing so, I became a god. I stopped time itself in the old cities, trapping all inside. The invasion was quelled, and I faded into the shadows. The cities remained trapped in time for centuries. The survivors of the Calamity fled and founded the New Kingdom. Now, every generation, the Kingdom is blessed with the birth of a warrior. A soul protector known as Lisfanga who passes their powers down to the next. Until something unexpected happened. Twins. You, Ime, strong in the way of the blade, and your brother, Keho, a burgeoning master of magic. When time came for you both to accept your duties as Lisbanga, this responsibility became yours alone. For Kehor left without a word, not even to you. A few years later, our people woke from their slumber in terror. The golden glow of the time locks gone from the horizon. From the old continent, my voice is calling for you. This is where your journey begins, Lisvanga. So. You arrive in the high city of Mayura. With my blessing, you have gained power over time itself. A critical advantage over our ancient foes. Now, armed with powerful gifts, you make your way forward through the hordes of Raxis. Kehor lies ahead, his motives yet unknown. Who knows what else he may be hiding?
now, with the power of these artifacts. Brother Kehor reappeared, but tragically, he seemed to be responsible for the disappearance of the Time Locks. Your reunion did not go as you had wished. It led to a bitter duel. Despite your victory, Kehor could not explain himself. For before he could, a dark figure took him away. Your new friends are suspecting that stranger to be looking for more divine power. They expect to find him in the city of Balara. The Balarans were proud warriors, living isolated in their mountainside city. In their time, no one dared risk their ire. And yet, they were the first to fall to the Raxes. A demonstration to the world of just how terrible these foes were. Now here you are, Ime, the first soul to walk these streets in centuries. Golem. 
systems. Stranger revealed himself to you as the former king of Balara, Arya I. 
I was manipulated into freeing him from his exile in the plain of the Raxis. He believes Comera is responsible for the calamity that destroyed his city. And when he had no more use for me, this fallen king tormented me. It was your courage that set me free from his influence. But Arya is still determined to challenge Chimera. Thankfully, even with the power of two temples, he still needs one more thing. The incantation for the Ritual of Ascension. It was stolen from the Royal Archives of Myora long ago. I believe the cultists of Kaal to be behind that theft. A faction of mages that worked for both Myorans and Balarans. With nothing but doubt in our hearts, we give pursuit to Arya. Daring to hope we can fulfill our duty. Perhul and I are now reunited under a common purpose. We give pursuit to Arya within the lush jungles. We had a terrifying encounter with a giant snake named Sitis, but she became our friend, and with her help, we made it to the Temple of Kaal. It is here that Arya seeks the stolen incantation for the Ritual of Ascension. The last thing he needs to become a god. We are welcomed by damp stone and the constant humming of magic. But already, a massive gate stands in our way. These walls were once witness to the experiments of the followers of the Naga Goddess. The road ahead seems steep, but we are determined to push through, despite our worst fears and doubts. We finally uncovered the secrets of the Calamity. The cultists of Kalm were the culprits all along. They unleashed the Raxes in Bellara and framed the Myorans. A devious machination, for even if the Raxes failed to destroy Bellara, such chaos would have been enough to restart the ancestral war. It is because of their deception that Arya blames Chimera, when the cultists of Kalm and their leader should be the target of his fury. With the two cubes, we can follow him further in the temple, hoping he has not yet found the incantation he seeks. What does the depths of this temple hold for us? Will we have the power to stop him if he does not miss him?
you. The shards are protecting him. Temple of Calm, Arya found something. A formidable foe, the Scourge of Balara, the Alpha of the Raxus. He lured you into its prison to pit you against each other. But thanks to your friend Sittis, you emerged victorious. Alas, before you could even breathe a sigh of relief, Grenos called out to you with grave news. Back in Mayura, 
Arya has started the Ritual of Ascension. His energies are darkening the sky, threatening all life around. He is well on his way to reaching his goal and becoming a god. Kehor has yet to wake up from his trials. You have to go alone, for now. Does that make me god of justice or god of vengeance? <laughs> Clever! But your little trick won't be a... Help me, Ime! Ime, free my chains, that they may bind him.
using my powers against me. <laughs> it's just you and me now, Ime. My turn now. <sighs> Let's see how you fare. My... My powers! No! My powers! Oh, I've been wanting to try this for a while! Let's see how you do it! <laughs> Enough to quench my rage! And you are getting it.
sacred grounds of Mayura, Arya completed the Ritual of Ascension. He obtained the power he had desired for so long, and fought you. The might of gods clashed, both asking for justice to triumph. And so it did. Arya fell. The truth finally revealed itself to him. He had been deceived. His revenge was misguided. Now that we know this world to be in good hands, Arya and I take our rightful place in the Celestial Realm. You and your brother returned home as heroes, accompanied by your new Gollum friends. Celebrations were held in your honor, for you had saved them all from a second calamity. Kehor pledged to defend the kingdom as its new Lisfanga. You took it upon yourself to watch over the Raxes left behind. But upon meeting Sittis again, you learned that all Raxes seemed to be gone. The cultists are still at large, and the nature of their threat, unknown. Kehor wants to investigate their temple in search of more secrets. But for now, the kingdom rests at peace with faith in their new sentinels.